Today we will be making an imaginary creature, or is it? How to draw a unicorn, today with Miss A. Hi everybody, today we are going to be doing a magical unicorn, and this is a shout out to my granddaughter Frankie and my grandson Lou. I love you guys, and I hope you all stay tuned to learn to draw a unicorn. Bye! For today's project, we're going to need a piece of white paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black pen to outline, and some rainbow colored color crayons. Let's get started. You know the routine. First, we're going to fold our paper into quarters, meeting up the edges, and we're going to make a nice crease on the one side, then turning the paper, folding again by matching upper corners and making another crease. This will give us four sections to draw our unicorn in. Unfold the paper and we're going to be doing it portrait, which means up and down. The length of the paper, the longest will be up and down. All right, so now let's get our pencil. And we are going to draw our first shape. And as Miss A has always said, she likes to practice by using her hand in the air, a little bit of the motion that she's going to make with her pencil on the paper. We are going to be using the last two sections of our paper, three and four. And it's going to be kind of like a um, swirly kind of up and down, I would say like an upside down sock and you're going to try to keep it within the bottom two sections. If it goes over a little bit, that is okay. Now you're gonna draw a line going down to make the body, and now you're gonna make two eyes. I'm making mine with closed eyes. You can make open eyes if you want on yours. Now we're going to make the nose area, drawing a line that kind of slopes from one edge to the next at the bottom of your sock shape. And then you're gonna make some nostrils, a mouth, and you can even put a circle for a cheek on your unicorn. All right, next we're making our unicorn ears by making two bumps, one in section one and one in section two, but leaving enough room in between for a nice unicorn horn, which we'll draw in a minute. And you also can draw in another bump inside the ear to give it a little more detail. The next thing we're going to draw is the mane of our unicorn, the hair on the back of the unicorn's uh, uh, neck and head. And we're gonna do this by drawing triangle shapes that go down the back of our unicorn. How many triangles did you make on the back of your unicorn? On the fourth section, the lower right hand corner, you're going to draw um, like a half circle and you draw some lines within that half circle that we're gonna color later. You will see. All right, and we're gonna continue making more hair and we're gonna make it from the ear to the eye in that last section with making some lines that are parallel to that half circle line and do the same thing on the left side. And this will be the hair of our horse slash unicorn if you decide to put a horn on it. Otherwise it can be a horse. Now I'm going to draw my unicorn's horn and I'm starting uh, down the center of the line that I uh, folded and I'm making some wavy lines like ocean ocean uh, waves that I might use to draw. And you're going to do that down either side and have it go right between the ears of your unicorn. Now I'm drawing some diagonal lines meeting up to the edge from one side to the other going up the unicorn's horn, which we're gonna color later. And see how many lines you can get in there. I got one, two, three, four, five lines in mine. So now you want to get your black marker out and you're going to trace every single line that you had drawn in pencil with the black pen.
After you're done outlining, erase any pencil lines. All right, now I want you to get some color crayons. I'm using rainbow colors, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, six colors. I also use some gray and pink in my unicorn, but I'd like you to primarily use rainbow colors for this particular unicorn, and I'll show you why, because it's actually called a rainbow unicorn. Ta-da! There is my completed rainbow unicorn. Now we are going to do our radiant rainbow background. Get your six rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make six dots, one with each color on the background of our paper placing them some distance away from each other. And they can be about the size of a dime. Now that you're done making your dime-shaped colored uh, spots, I want you to take your color crayons and put them in order of purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. This will help you when you're starting to do the background. Whichever dot you are going to start coloring your radiant lines from, I want you to move up to the next color in the lineup. So for example, if I did my red polka dot, I would use orange next, then yellow, then green, then blue, then purple. If I started with my purple dot, I would then go to the bottom and keep going up. So purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Let's try one more, just so we know we have it. If I started with my green dot, what would be the next color? Did you say blue? You are correct. Then purple, then red, then orange, then yellow. So each dot, you're going to keep this pattern and you're going to make radiant lines that go all the way around that original dot, just building on top of the next color. If you run into an ear or some of the hair, just stop and start back up where you could go continue that radiant line. When you're all done, it will look fantastic.
finishing up my last uh, radiant dot and this one is purple so I will start back at the bottom with red then orange then yellow green and blue Ta-da! my rainbow unicorn with my radiant rainbow background my rainbow unicorn is named Zoe what is yours Remember, if you can imagine it, you can make it, and you can change your world. Stay safe. Bye for now.